I recently read the book 10 Minute Toughness by author Jason Silk. It's September 30, 2006. The Street, Louis Cardinals are playing in the second last game of the Major League Baseball season. They're down to nothing in the bottom of the eighth inning. They need a win to secure a playoff spot. Next up to bat is Cardinals pinch hitter Scott Spezia. In a few minutes, he'll have to hit a 100 mile an hour fastball in front of 40. Oh, oh, oh screaming fans to save his team the pressure to perform is suffocating but thankfully Scott Spezia has a mental routine that he can use before going up to bat to remain poised and perform with confidence despite feeling intense pressure author and sports psychologist Jason Silk has helped Scott Spezia develop this mental toughness routine to remain confident in a stadium full of fans and he's now written a book to help you build a similar mental routine to eliminate self-doubt and build confidence before performing in front front of 20 co-workers 30 classmates or a room full of executives here are three parts of Jason's mental toughness routine that you can use before a big performance to remain poised and confident part 1 to 15 second breath part 2 the mental movie part 3 the performance statement in the moments leading up to a performance your heart rate will elevate don't worry it's natural even professional speakers and athletes experienced an elevated heart rate prior to performing in front of an audience it's just the body's way of ensuring that you get enough oxygen to the brain so you can perform at your best but if your heart rate goes above 120 beats per minute you'll be less mentally sharp and starred forgetting parts of your training like sections of the speech you're about to give the goal is not to achieve total calmness before a performance that's impossible your body is excited and it won't calm down until you start the performance the goal is to ensure that your heart rate remains low enough to remain mentally sharp Jason Selk has found that when his high performance performance athletes and executives take a deep breath that lasts 15 seconds they get enough air into the diaphragm to reduce their flight or fight response and lower their heart rate in a sense of 15 second breath is a way of telling your nervous system don't worry I got this under control J Selk specifically recommends completing the 15 second breath with a 6 to 7 rhythm 6 seconds in 2 second hold 7 second exhale Selk says if you can't slow your B breathing down to 15 seconds it's a good sign that you need to take another breath part to the mental movie after a few 15 second breaths it's time to put a movie on in your mind if you've given a speech five times you'd be far more confident in your ability to deliver the speech a sixth time than if you were doing it for the first time the mind needs enough performance repetitions in its memory to look fearless and confident in front of an audience but getting in enough performance repetitions to trigger the feeling of confidence can take time but luckily there there's a shortcut in 2005 Harvard researchers concluded that people who simply visualize and experience in their mind activate 60 to 90 percent of the same brain regions as those who actually had the experience in other words the brain has a hard time telling the difference between what you're actually experiencing and what you simply visualized in your mind by correctly visualizing the process of a performance you can rapidly rack up performance repet actions and trick the mind into thinking it's completed the performance before Jason Song says the more detail you pack into your mental video the more realistic and beneficial it is the best visualizations are rich sensory experiences allowing you to see feel and hear what you would experience during an actual performance so for example if you were about to give a presentation at work you would see yourself walking confidently to the front of the room despite feeling intense social pressure then you would see yourself start the presentation by using con confident hand gestures and feeling the emphasis of certain birds as each continues you would see yourself moving to different parts of the room conveying the emotion and imagery of the different stories you're telling to get your point across it's critical to focus on the process and not just the end result the brain needs to see the nitty gritty step by step actions that are needed for a successful performance after you've created a 15 second breathing rhythm and watching the successful repetition of your performance in your imagination you will need to demonstrate a performance before going on stage. A person experiences approximately 60,000 normal thoughts during a performance. The volume of these thoughts will increase most of these thoughts. Thoughts are full of anxiety and self-doubt. Author Jason Sook says, The only true, reliable way to overcome self-doubt and negative thinking is to provide something else for your mind to process a performance statement that would be a protest target and a sensible mantra. Your mind can chew during an upcoming comeback performance with stating your mental performance. Imagine that a high performing coach is sitting next to you. Your high performing coach is someone you respect and respect. 
It might be people like Tony Robbins, Oprah Winfrey, or Theologian King Jr. High-performing coaches come to sit next to you for one reason to take you out with a direct and brief protest goal to think about during an upcoming performance when I'm on the subject of giving a presentation at work or on Toastmasters I the King Jr. He sits next to me leaning, whispering, and breathing fully with confidence. So the next time you just have to perform in front of an audience and complete mandatory training for a good performance, it is time to implement your mental toughness routine to stimulate confidence and increase the odds of a successful performance. Start with a 15-second breath to stabilize your heart and sharpen your mind, then imagine the process of overcoming fear and presenting your performance with confidence. Then imagine your high-performing coach tilting and giving you a performance statement to focus on the goal of the process which might be something like three full feet with confidence again in the eighth game of that decisive ball. Scott performed Spizio made his mental routine and climbed onto the board as he repeats his performance statement, seeing him a short, pressurized swing hitting the trio and three contestants returned home to put St. Louis Cardinals would go up to 3-2 to two Cardinals to win the match hold the playoffs and win the Globe Series that year, so make sure your next performance is a decisive win by implementing the mental toughness routine before confronting the crowd that was the primary message gathered from toughness. Duration 10 minutes. Book is for athletes, but principles of performance are universal. I recommend it.